Howdy folks, welcome to Beards and Camo. Good morning to you. I got a cool story for you that was sent to me by one of my viewers. Um, so this gal, she's a single mother. She moved from Louisiana to Central Mississippi, raising a nine-year-old son. She moves to her family's land, moves into a trailer, double-wide trailer, across the road from her mama and her stepdaddy. Now, stepdad tells her, stay away and and basically watch out for the old coop that lives next door um, she's on three acres by the way so it's not exactly right next door but the next property over say so he's crazy lunatic bad blood his wife's even crazy So, uh, she, uh, she told me that she hadn't even met the guy yet, hadn't even seen the guy, and the guy sets fire to, uh, the wood line that's in between their properties, and he comes over. And starts yelling at her and cussing at her and everything, accusing her of trying to burn him out and all that. And, well, she hadn't even met him yet. You know, she tells him to get off her property and so forth. Uh, but out there shooting, not looking here. But so, uh, so she sees him another time poking around at night with a flashlight, trying to see in her windows, watching her son, uh, you know in the woods, so forth. Uh, at one time, she seen him out shining the light at night at her place, in the windows and so forth. She goes out there with her light, yells at him, get out of here. Probably says a few choice words and all that. Time goes by. Uh, he shot a couple neighbors neighbors' dogs. Uh, he uh, her son went over to visit the neighbors one time. Um, that neighbor, that particular neighbor, is a single mother as well, with daughters. They had caught him peeping in their window. And, uh, just a bad dude. Bad, bad filler. Well, She last, about this time last year, she told me that she had had a dream of a female Sasquatch had come and charged at her. And uh, she said in that dream that she had told 
that female Sasquatch that she, that she was sorry that people were um, shooting at him, bothering him, uh, trying to kill him, and if she could, she would put a stop to that. As she dreamed that females got Sasquatch ran and screamed at her some more. She ran in the house, looked out the window. There she was standing on the front porch. She woke up. <coughs> Excuse me. Fast forward to last summer. Well, the guys out there, this lunatic neighbor he's out there cutting grass and he starts cutting grass on her side of the property so by then her son's 19 he goes out there and tells this fella to quit but this dude pulls out a gun shoots it in the air Not cool. They call the cops. Cops don't do anything. Cops know this guy. Court system knows this guy. The guy's got a history. For some reason they don't do anything. Um, so this fella... Oh, he goes over, he tells him neighbors, tells the neighbors that if he sees their dogs out, he's going to shoot them too. Come on, man. Well, one particular time, a guy put some lead in one of the dogs. And... My viewer said that she could hear that poor dog squalling, crying. She said she just looked up and prayed. Said, Lord, please send Bigfoot to teach this guy a lesson. Teach this bully a lesson. Show him who runs things around here. So I think it was that night, she said she dreamed <coughs> that she seen a male Sasquatch. She said it was walking towards her property. She just seen a profile of it going through the woods. She, she don't know how she knew it was coming towards her property. She just did. Well, guess they was some neighbors that had moved in. It wasn't great people. They had a dog. They seen this Bigfoot take the dog into the woods. Cops were called. They spotted this thing and they shoot at it. All they do is piss it off. Now this thing's mad. Her son comes in one particular day. Says he sees it in the woods. He grabs his gun, goes to go out there. She stops him. She says, no. Leave it be. You're not going to shoot at it. You're not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it be. Well, she's heard this thing. Various people have seen it. She's heard it. 
raising hell in the woods. And then it's gone. She sees it, I think, one or two more times. One time, I think, after that. She'll hear things every now and then. But the kicker. Is this old crazy SOB no longer bothers her? No longer bothers anyone. Did he have a not so friendly encounter? Was this a big old Bigfoot? Maybe. Maybe. Now I believe, and there's a lot of people that believe that they can read your thoughts. They know what's in your heart. You think maybe it hurt her, it felt her, it felt um, what all the other neighbors were were feeling and, and going through because of this ass and he put an end to that. There's been people that said that they will project thoughts into your mind. Did he project some thoughts into that old coot's mind? Maybe tell him if he didn't leave the neighbors alone, quit killing dogs and so forth. Uh, you're going to do something all bad. <laughs> I think all that's a possibility. I know there's not a lot of people that believe in this, but I do. I do, and I don't care what anybody thinks or says. Yeah, I've been hackled about it. So far, nobody's hackled me about telling these stories on my channel. Doesn't matter if they do or not. Uh, because if you know me, you know that I don't care. I am a Christian, and I'm a good guy. I'm a good person. But I'm not a saint. And I can get mean right back to somebody. Now, I made up my mind. See, telling these stories was just kind of a, an idea to do some 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 content for you all for my channel because this past summer I had endured a bunch of broken bones like 10 broken bones in my foot and lower leg I was laid up I couldn't get out and do anything so I started doing these stories telling these stories from various friends of mine and now it's starting to grow people start to send me stories and uh, I would love to tell every one of them. Um, so that being said, if you would like me for you to tell your story, you can send my channel an email at camo and beards. Yep, camo and beards at gmail.com. Or if you want somebody to talk to about it. I'll talk to you. I'm not going to judge you. I am not the Lord. 
whether I think it's true or not, I'm still going to talk to you because chances are real good. It's true. And if you need a voice, I'm here. I'm here and I'll tell your story and I'll back you and I'll support you. Because nobody, nobody's words bother me. Nobody intimidates me. But I'm still a nice guy. And I'm a godly man. With all that said, boy, it's chilly out here. That's why I got my hood up. The dynasty, baby. <coughs> Give me a shout out if you want somebody to talk to, if you want me to tell your story. Give me a shout out. Put it in an email. Address it to camoinbeards at gmail.com. And we'll talk. One more thing before I go. I want to say I love my country I love my military my son is a marine and I'm extremely proud of him Rah, Landon I always wanted to be in Marine Corps due to physical birth defects I could not And yes, I am living vicariously through my son. And I'm extremely proud of him. <coughs> I support our military. I support our country. And I support our president. Absolutely. If you don't like that, I don't care. All right. I've done yakking. I'm a little chilly. Y'all be safe out there. Y'all don't let nobody bully you. Y'all don't let nobody scare you. If you have such encounters like this, like Bigfoot or, or UFOs or whatever, don't let nobody tell you you're crazy or you're making this crap up. You know the truth. You and the Lord know the truth. If you're telling the truth, don't let anybody, anybody tell you otherwise. All right. I'm done. Thank you very much for watching my channel. Thank you very much for my supporters. Thank you to my sons, Jordan and Landon who inspire me, who push me on. I appreciate it, boys. Papa Bear loves you. Be careful out there. I love you. God loves you. I'm out. <laughs>